It's just something that I'm passionate about, trying to help people survive, trying to help people overcome cancer. My grandmother died from cancer, and I believe that we could cure cancer with immune therapy. Immune therapy's really become the big thing in cancer treatment over the past few years. There's long been suspicion that the immune system could have a role in protecting us against cancer. It's now really clear that by changing the immune system with medications, potentially with vaccines, that the immune system has a major role in controlling cancer. A lot of the recent advances that have happened have led to long-term survival for a lot of people who would have otherwise died. That's exciting, but there's a lot more work to do, so advancing the pace of what we do to make vaccines or other immune therapies work well will make a huge difference in human life. One of the main focuses of our research is to try to figure out things that are going to be predictive of how patients are going to respond to immune therapy or other therapies. This could help to make cancer therapy more specialized, more personalized, because therapies can be toxic, they're costly, and sometimes cancer battle is about time, right? You may not necessarily have a lot of time to go on a lot of therapies, so you want to be able to guide people's therapies better. And so we're starting that right now in melanoma, but my overall goal is to do that for all cancers. And so this is the first footing down that road. The technique I'm using is actually a new state-of-the-art staining technique. And you can stain for seven targets. This is really exciting because we can then look at immune populations and the tumors all together and ask what they're doing. I think this is really gonna help us to find the cure for cancer, to move the therapy forward and make cancer treatment more personalized here at UVA. I was funded by the Rebecca Clary Harris Memorial from 2013 to 2014. The fact that Craig would talk to us about her optimism and her drive, it would motivate us, I think all the fellows, to work harder and I was very honored to be funded by her. The fellowship is so great, I mean part of it is emotionally all of us really valued Rebecca and miss her and so it's great to have something that memorializes her spirit. It also is valuable, of course, because it contributes directly to supporting the research that we do here. Increasingly, it's challenging getting the research funds that are needed for the advances that are possible. There are definitely discoveries that we've made that we would not have made without the contributions of generous donors. I feel really fortunate to be here, and I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. And we're just starting, but it's just a whole new world for what, what we can do, what we can look at, what we can ask now. In the long run, I really hope we find the cure for cancer and that immunotherapy is the answer.